欢，先生给。Randy, good to be with you here in Lee May. And I know this is going to come as a big surprise uh, to everybody sitting in the room. But I'm the contrarian uh, among uh, this group. And uh, we're going to hear from candidates up and down the uh, spectrum that what we need to do is government needs to be doing things so that we can create jobs in the state of Missouri. Now, where I might agree is that government certainly has a role in putting forth an environment that's going to be conducive to creating and growing our economy and growing jobs in Missouri. Where I would disagree is that what we've been doing for the last number of decades in the state of Missouri is not working. Matter of fact, I don't know if any of you caught uh, this week's St. Louis Business Journal, but large headline. Right across the top, St. Louis Business Journal, tax credits drive Missouri budget prices. Now, I've been talking about this issue uh, for the last four years as your state senator and saying that we have to look at the 61 different tax credit programs and we need to have reforms because it's taking revenue off the table that doesn't allow your elected officials to address a budget crisis and the priorities of the state. Now listen to this number, it's staggering. Redemptions hit a record amount this year. $629 million of redemptions. That's $629 million that we don't have to keep our promise to our public schools and fund the foundation formula at the level we need to fund it at. Those are dollars that we don't have to put into higher education and invest in the next generation so that we have qualified workforce for our businesses to stay here, grow here, and move here to Missouri. Now, there are plenty of things that we can do as a state to be competitive with our neighboring states. But what we don't want to do is the same thing that's not working and is actually a race to the bottom. <coughs> We need to be doing things that uh, incent businesses to move here with a level tax policy that's fair for all businesses, including your small businesses that you represent out here. We need to be investing in higher education. We need to be investing in infrastructure across the state. We need regulation reform that is not going to chase businesses out of our state, but is going to welcome business in the state of Missouri. And we need an energy plan for the next 30 years that some very wise people 30 years ago put in place that allow for energy to be the cheapest in the country or among the cheapest in the country in our state, we need a plan moving forward. That's what I'm going to do serving you in this next session. Thank you very much. Thank you. Scott Sipton is a Democratic challenger for our state Senate. Senate, uh, 
Uh, it was the big government get off my back act, which I was pleased to support. It was a tax incentive for small businesses to create new jobs, and it included a provision that uh, provided for regulatory reform in Missouri. The House passed it very early in session. We didn't get to that through the Senate to the governor's desk and sign. Unfortunately, that was it. We had a much larger package. Uh, it included the project at the airport, uh, uh, data centers, uh, uh, OSIRA, which is very important for uh, plant research in particular. And, and, uh, uh, the important thing to remember is that that jobs bill also included extensive tax credit reform. Very extensive. In fact, the bill more than paid for itself and saved us a million dollars over 10 years. It passed in the House. It didn't get taken up in the Senate during regular session. Parties worked together to try to come up with a deal. Senate uh, Democratic and uh, Republican leaders thought they had an agreement. Governor called special session. The deal blew up. Uh, we passed on the opportunity to enact real tax credit reform while at the same time reinvesting in critical job creation legislation. I understand the concern about the price at the bottom. The problem is this. We're surrounded by eight states, all right? And if we refuse to compete, guess what they're going to do? They're going to continue to eat our lunch. And that's exactly what's been happening, particularly in Kansas City with the Kansas border. But it's not something we can take for granted with any of our other surrounding states. Um, you know, we have a federal society, that's great. We have laboratories for democracy in 50 states. That's fantastic. But if we think that unilaterally failing to engage in the competition uh, for, for jobs and creativity is going to get us anywhere, we are going to stay where we are, and that's not sustainable. Thank you. We have the 